Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more howls and reactions. This is the second one of the day. So if you missed the first one, go check that out. Uh, we have Wait For It here, so let's get into it. I'm so sorry for the, what? Oh, it's a continuation. Theodosia writes me a letter every day. In the bed warm while her husband is away. <laughs> He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all of Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we keep <laughs> loving anyway. We laugh and we cry and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason, I'm by her side. And so many have tried. Grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher. Preacher, preacher, preacher. But there are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach you. Teacher, teacher, teacher. My mother was a genius. My father commanded respect. Respect, respect. When they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Ooh. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we can live in any way. We rise and we fall, and we break and we make. And if there's a reason I'm still alive When everyone who loves me has died I'm willing to wait for it, wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it hmm. Wait for it Hamilton doesn't hesitate. He exhibits no restraint. Takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game, plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's wow. a reason, he seems to thrive and so you survive. And God damn it, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Life doesn't discriminate. Wow, that was surprisingly powerful. I didn't expect that, actually. Huh. So right after Hamilton told him to go and take this woman for himself, we have a song about Aaron Burr saying he's willing, singing he's willing to wait for it. And this song makes their rivalry so much more compelling because there's now a much more deeply personal reason behind it. Like, sure, Burr was jealous of Hamilton swooping in and taking the position he wanted, or receiving the position he wanted, um, but this is now about a woman he loves, and so, yeah, it just feels much more personal, um, and him seeing Hamilton reach above his station and just take, take, and take, and take, and still winding up winning anyway, like, seeing Hamilton's methods run counter to his own and still get everything that he himself wants, um, makes him resentful, in a way. And um, it honestly feels very similar to the fiction I've read where people are jealous of others who are blessed and born with natural talent. And so ordinary people are jealous, they're resentful. So yeah, it's a very interesting, fascinating dynamic. And we get some more of his thought process as well, Aaron Burr. Uh, his family died when he was young, but he had to carry forth their reputation, so he couldn't just do what he wanted while preserving that. So he's just patiently waiting for the right moment for everything, whereas Hamilton has nothing to lose and therefore claws his way to the top. Um, yeah, it's really 
interesting to see how uh, these two are compared and contrasted. Uh, Burr obviously thinks a lot of himself. Uh, that line, I am inimitable, uh, I am an original, he thinks he's special. And honestly, for a man with his attitude about not causing trouble, talk less, smile more. Uh, I don't feel like you see too many people who are special and original, who patiently lie and wait for their chance instead of seizing every opportunity that they can. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I do think he winds up with Theodosia simply because the fact that she's with him on the side mean, must mean that she's at least somewhat open to the idea of revolution, and we all know how that revolution turns out. So yeah, it seems like they'll be together in the end, uh, but I guess we'll see. Uh, enjoyed this song, um, much more lyrical and melodical than some of the others uh, previously, but it makes sense because it's Aaron Burr. Um, but yeah, uh, looking forward to what's next. Let me check real quick what's next after this. Stay Alive and Ten Dual Commandments. We'll do two next week. Alright, thanks for watching. Leave a like, really help out the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.